If you have been looking to create your book, this is the tool you need to use. You guys have been sitting on ideas for years and you couldn't either afford to hire an illustrator to make your book. You're going to see how I work within the thread and within the multi-character function to bring it all together. So this will be Milo. And then I'm going to just put at Milo. Stands on a grassy hill holding a red kite. Luna is the bunny. So this is our first scene. They finally get the kite down from the tree. They're on their way home and in their bedroom. If you're not using this, but you want to struggle with the other AI systems. Consistent character dot AI. All right, the struggle is over. No more mismatched faces, no more missing bows, no more different outfits, no more random hairstyles, colors, things like that. Here's how I made 15 consistent characters with consistent scenes in under 10 minutes. All right, so we are starting, of course, in consistent character dot AI. And we're going to start with creating our characters. So in this book that we're going to create, you only have two characters, a little boy and a bunny. So we can just go straight to character turbo. And I'm going to go ahead and get my character prompt for the first character. And if you don't have a story, you can use AI, chat GPT or whatever AI system you want to make you a quick story. But if you are an author that you've been sitting on an idea, this is something I get all the time. A lot of you guys have been sitting on ideas for years and you couldn't either afford to hire an illustrator to make your book or even within the recent times with these AIs systems, you couldn't find a system that would produce consistent characters for you. So this is the answer to your prayers. <laughs> Let's put in my prompt for my character, a six-year-old boy, curly brown hair, blue overalls, yellow sneakers, red kite string in hand. The action and expression is always a full body view. Then no background. I do this so we can have a reference point for my character, pull that character into different scenes use it for the multi-character view and have that character in my storyboard. Okay, here is my character. If you don't like the character it produced, go ahead and fix the prompt a little bit, edit it a little bit if you want, or just hit generate again and it will generate a new look for your character. However, I'm happy with this. So what I'm gonna do next is get my second prompt for my second character. And this one is going to be a bunny and I'm creating it in the same thread. Now that consistent character.ai has upgraded their system even more, you're going to see how I work within the thread and within the multi care function to bring it all together. But I'm just going to create my bunny. So I pasted that into the character prompt and I hit generate. Okay, that's a cute bunny. I'm just going to generate one more time to see because I'm thinking more floppy for the ears, but if not, this is just a video to show you what it can do. Okay, that's a cute bunny. I like that one. So we have our two characters and what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. I just hover my mouse over the image and these bars come up in the gray. You're just going to hover on the downward image and you download. And I'm going to do that and save them to my desktop. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're going to be using the multi-character feature because we have two characters. Technically, this does work with more characters. I have tested it. I have gotten up to five characters in one image, and they've all stayed true to form. I might show that in another video. But we're going to stick with the two. We're going to go to the multi-character fu function. 
and get those two images that we downloaded. This is the bunny and my main character. Now to the side, I have my illustration prompts. And what I'm going to do is just one by one, start putting it in. And so I'm going to paste my prompt to describe the scene with both characters. And so Milo is the our little boy. So we can also rename the characters. So this will be Milo. And then I'm going to just put at Milo. Stands on a grassy hill holding a red kite. Luna is the bunny. So that's character one, or you can change it to Luna. But at character one. The bunny beside him is sitting. All right. So now if you have a background that you particularly want, you can type that in, but I, I don't have any ideas for my background. So I'm going to let the system bring up whatever I'm going to change the aspect ratio. Let's do it as a square and generate. Okay. So this is our first scene. And it did follow the prompt. They're standing on a grassy hill, holding a red kite, the bunny. Okay, cool. So let's get our second pr prompt. Now the second illustration prompt is basically a change in perspective. What I love about a new feature that consistent character.ai has brought forth is the perspective change. We're going to download this first image that we created for our first scene. Then we'll go back to the home page and we're going to go to perspective editor. And we're going to take that image that we just downloaded. And I'm going to paste in my new illustration prompt for the scene two. And it says perspective from below. So let's generate that. All right. So that is the second perspective. If you wanted a high angle looking down. Let's just generate that real quick. And you can see that it took my prompt and it said, Luna squints at the sky. Ooh, I like that one better. Take what picture you like and download it. That's your second scene. But you can see how consistent it is with that background. So you can see at the bottom of the different color flowers and it kept that for the higher perspective. It has the different color flowers. And now you can see the whole valley. I love that. That is too cute. So download that. And let's move on to the third scene. Okay, so before we go into the next scenes, I want to show you a little trick that I've learned. This will go for anytime you're using the multi-character feature. This helps the system create the scenes the same. This is a step that is up to you if you want to do this, but to me, I feel like it helps 10 times better. So I'm in Canva and I have one of the images that I created inside of consistentcharacter.ai. And what I'm going to do is, again, I want the same background no matter what for every single scene. What I'm going to do is I have the photo selected. I'm going to go to edit. And then scroll over to magic grab and highlight one of the characters. You could do it for whichever, but just grab one of the characters. And then I'm going to delete the character. So now I have one of the characters that I can always put into the multi-character function that already has the background I need attached to it. The system in consistentcharacter.ai is automatically going to grab that background scene and apply it to the other scenes that we create. So that's just one tip. Now, consistentcharacter.ai is really good with keeping the background scenes the same. However, with any AI, issues can occur. So I found that this is the best way to stop those issues. So I'm just going to download this scene. When I go back into consistentcharacters.ai, I'm going to upload that scene and my other character, consistent character AI is always going to keep that scene when I'm creating my other pages. So let's go on to the next scene real quick and let's create, keep on going so we can finish our book. Milo is character one. Red kite floats from the distance. Luna is character two. All right, generate. Okay, I like that. 
So we're gonna download that. That's gonna be scene four or five, one of those. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the next scene. Once you have your background scene that you like, once you have the characters that you like, you just copy and paste the prompts in and keep going until you finish your book. And then you're gonna go to Canva and put it all together. So side view is going to be character one runs across the field. Character two is hopping close behind. The kite appears small, blah, 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 blah. okay. Generate, okay, so I do like this one, but I want them looking up at the kite. Okay, it runs across the field, reaching forward. I'm gonna say reaching upward towards the getaway kite. And so you're gonna see that sometimes when you are creating these prompts or creating these scenes, you're gonna to have to be very detailed as far as what exactly do you want. I like this scene, I like this one too. No, I like this one better. So I'm going to download this and this is going to be our scene six. And then let's go and create the rest. When I come back, I'm going to have all the scenes created and literally going to be doing is going to the multi-character prompting and putting in my prompt, do it over and over again until you finish your book. Okay. Before I finish the book, I just wanted to come back real quick. This is one of the important reasons why I brought up Canva and the technique that we discussed earlier in this video, this is one of the scenes from the story, right? I wanted our main character, Milo, to be climbing up this branch to go get that kite. However, when I did the prompt for the next page, it changed the tree and it was still on the valley, the fl colorful fl flowers on the ground, it's all that, but the tree changed. So I went to Canva and I did the magic grab and deleted our main character from the scene and downloaded. And what I'm going to do is go back in, delete our bunny character and input the character that I just uh, edited in Canva. And I'm going to go ahead and generate again. I like this angle. It shows the long arm of the tree going out. I'm just going to do it one more time to see what it comes up with. Okay. I like this one better. There we go. Yes, this is it. So the bunny is trying to help the boy up the tree so it can remove the kite. Yes, this is it. All right. So we got that. And now when I come back, we're going to have the whole complete book. Okay, we have completed the storybook and I'm back in Canva. So I'm just gonna scroll down and show you each image. So this is the first image and you can see that no matter what, the background scenes are consistent. We're on the top of the hill, the valley's in the back, the higher perspective, you see the top of the field, with the same colors, the same flowers on the ground, just a better view of the valley. Wind is blowing still on top of that hill. <laughs> it's incredible how this goes on. And so now as on page six, you start to see just a different angle. It's the higher grass. However, you see the details, the multicolor flowers on the ground, we still have the view of the background beyond the hill. They're searching for that kite. This is a different perspective view as well. And it's still consistent. The puddle, you can see the same background. You can see the kite in the reflection of the puddle. They find the kite. It's on the top of the branch of the tree. They're tired. Still, the background is consistent. They're trying to get up the tree to get the kite down. Some wind blows and all that. Guess what? Sing. <laughs> they finally get the kite down from the tree. They're on their way home and in their bedroom. Now it's time for bed. 
You can see I did the output change. Everything is consistent. If you have been looking for something, AI system to create your book, it could be for your book or whatever it is that you need to create. This is the tool that you need to use. If you're not using this, you're asleep. You want to struggle with the other AI systems and you don't want ease, <laughs> plain and simple. If you haven't been using consistentcharacter.ai, you're missing out. Go ahead and test them out. They have a free trial. With the free trial, you get about four to five images for free, and then you can do a month membership. It is very affordable. And if you are seriously into creating your books that you want to put on, let's say KDP or whatever outlet that you want to put them on, this is the tool that you definitely need in your toolbox. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.